Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Dominus Divinus deck from Nikolai Arore. All right, so what's going on with the Dominus themed decks? Uh, the Dominus decks were a Kickstarter release from Nikolai Aurore, and of course it was successfully funded. Uh, Dominus, the word Dominus is Latin, Latin for master. And so Dominus illustrates the damaging physical and psychological effects of political ambition on those who seek to gain power through activities related to the underworld and dark magic. And Dominus seeks to represent both light and darkness mirrored here in this two deck theme. Divinus, Latin for sacred, and Obscura, Latin for dark. The tuck case for the Divinus deck is a thick matte deluxe tuck case designed with hot stamped gold foil and embossing effects. The front of the tuck case has a floor de lis and on the top it says justice is our light and on the bottom it says limited edition. One side says justice is prosperous. The other side says fight shadow with flame. The bottom has a little bit of ad copy and the top has an iron cross. The back design has the Florida Lee and it says Dominus Divinus Nikolai Aurore and the tuck flap says Divinus as well. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards come printed from the NPCC on their highest quality linen stock. Now, a lot of people always ask how these cards feel and how they handle. Best thing I can do is measure them with a caliper and just give you a better idea of how they might feel uh, compared to their thickness from one card to the next, from one deck to the next compare them against other decks you may have held before. So when I stick 10 of these cards in the caliper, it comes to 2.94. Now 2.94 is about the same thickness as the Coven deck, the Dark Fall deck, and the Silver Arrow Poker deck. The back design is decorated with royal, divine, religious, and occult symbolism. And both the back designs uh, of both decks represent the European monarch's moral codex and reign. The noble and honorable ruler will always stay on the path of light. For both editions, the two-way artwork is a single Pantone ink with gold pigment. With this deck, you'll get two original jokers. Both images represent uh, various images of monarchy. Also with this deck, you'll get two ad cards that'll explain a little bit more about the Divinus deck. Your Divinus court cards will contain four knights, which are the jacks, four queens, and four kings of various European monarchies. They are an illustrated symbol of the people who are on the moral right path. All are in a mirrored design and illustrated by hand in collaboration with Eugen Poe. The four aces are all very beautiful exploded pips encased in a circle with crossbars. Your pips and indice cards are all gonna be completely original. Uh, the red cards are gold and the black cards are black. The Divinus cards are all inside of a delicate frame that represents the limits of self-control. All right, so that's my review of the Dominus Divinus cards from Nikolai Aurore. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magicorthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye. Hallelujah! Hallelujah!